Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Surviving Black River with myself, Rusty Money. We are here trying to fix a blade on our windmill because I need to make sure that we got water working so we can get some greenhouses or have water for cows. Um, it appeared to have a little bit of a breakdown, so I just got it fixed. And we will show you what we got going on here. We have $17,649 now. But let's get down from here because I'm scared of heights. And there's a long ways down there. So we'll be back with you in just a second as soon as I climb down this ladder safely. Alright, welcome back everybody. Well... We have done quite a bit of logging off camera, so I'm going to show you some screenshots of some loads of logs that I sold, and also uh, one piece of equipment that I did get a screenshot of that I purchased off camera. I actually purchased two pieces of equipment, but the first one I forgot to get a screenshot of, so you'll see that. Both purchases were pretty inexpensive, but still added up, so um, we, need, we need more money. But um, you should see those screenshots now. Alright, well, you can tell that we've done a lot of logging from the screenshots, and so you can even tell from here, look in that direction, there's a lot of trees gone. But let's just show you uh, how many trees we've cut so far. So, so far we've cut 60 trees down. Now, I don't remember how many trees I cut down to start the series, I think it was like 12 or so. Uh, in order to input that uh, little field that we do have. Um, right now we still haven't collected any collectibles. I actually haven't seen any collectibles anywhere yet. And there's still two plowing contracts, but I'm not too interested in those right now. We also still have $200,000 in debt to pay. So, we haven't got anything paid down. Um, we still owe quite a bit of money. But, we do have uh, some fields. And a big opening of trees cut down. So, here is our first field, um, which has got grass in it. And we're working at getting another load of logs to go get sold. We've got another little field back here against the silage bunker uh, square field. And then we got uh, another field over here that kind of starts right here and goes down that way on this edge of the property here. So I'll show you these three fields in the PDA now. And in our PDA, you can see here we have three fields. And little did I know that my first additional field right here was kind of going to look like the state of Nebraska when I plowed it in. <laughs> As I am from Nebraska. And then I put in this uh, little bit bigger of a rectangle field right here. And now we're kind of trying to cut some more trees back this direction. But we still got all these trees right here. And we still got trees that go down this side of our property. And trees that go down this side of our property. Eventually, I think this side right here will be a field and this side right here will be a field along with probably keeping this field possibly we'll just see 
But a lot of this up here will be our farmyard and stuff. But we'll we'll just see how it goes and what we all need and how much bigger the area looks. So, um, the new equipment that we have um, that you saw from the screenshot, I got a roller and I got a fertilizer and herbicide sprayer. So here is our roller, um, a lizard um, PB5-032, works really well. And well, then we got a little John Deere 1000 liter uh, fertilizer and herbicide sprayer. Um, since we are playing with seasons and precision farming and weeds on, we need something to uh, help treat, treat our weeds. So that's what we got going on there. But now what I want to do is we need to load up the rest of these logs here, hopefully on my trailer, get as many as we can on there and go sell this load because hopefully there is enough money to potentially buy three pieces of equipment that we're going to need, um, especially two pieces of equipment to start with is really what I'm aiming for here. Okay, that stopped right there. Good. That's where I want that one to land. So we'll see how many we can get log logged up and lifted onto that trailer. Whoops. Okay, missed that one. Let's see if we can play a little log uh, basketball here. Okay. Missing that one. We didn't do it so well. Let's see if we can get this one up on our pallet forks. Oh, now we do have a bag lifter. Or we could get a bag lifter. I mean, I don't have one. I thought I had one. <laughs> No, we don't have a bag lifter. But we could get one and lift them easier, but I wanted to do it this way. I kind of like loading logs this way on occasion with just a pallet fork. Okay, let's strap those in so they don't fall off there. And, um... Now see how many more I can get on there. Hopefully we can get another one on the other side. We should be able to anyway. But I want to get some greenhouses or something. Something to give us another uh, bit of income here. There we go. Alright, let's go on this side of the trailer. I'll move this one from over here. I've been selling uh, logs at all the different sell points we have here. I sell everything mod, the carpentry point, the sawmill, even the biomass heating plant. We sold some logs at. Okay, now we should be able to scoot that log up a little bit. We give it a little love tap here. Scoot that up on the trailer. Oops. Depth perception is off there. There we go. Alright, now we can strap that one in. Okay, we might be able to get one more up there if we get it to sit right. Maybe more. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Stay on, stay on. We can cut these up and put them on the bed of our truck too. So I might cut a couple of these up. Get them on the bed. Now this is going to be a little tricky here. 
much we'll get that to fall on there and stay on there. Right now it's kind of stuck on my pallet floor. <laughs> Come on now. There you go. I want you to stay right there. There, 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 there. Let's get that strapped. And okay, now. We might even be able to get another one on top of there. Uh, from the other side then. Which would be perfect. The last load I sold, you saw, was 7,000. And hopefully I'll get to be able to actually put all of the screenshots in the video. I'm not sure how many it lets me do here on Share Factory for PlayStation. Come on, log. Fall down my pallet fork. Give you a little bump here. Come on. Whoa. Alright, let's use my tree trick against the gas tank. And get that pushed back on my pallet fork. There we go. Now it's level. Now she fell. Alright, now let's get this on this side of the trailer. We should be able to stick it up there, I think. And get it strapped in there. We might have to kind of sit this at an angle against the trailer, though, because of the way the logs are stacked there. It's kind of more at an angle. Okay, come on now. Stuck on my pallet for it now, aren't you? Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, it finally came off, but not when I was expecting it to. We gotta load it back up now. There we go. Want it to go right in there. Right in there like that. Okay, now. Let's see if we can lift it up. There, I want it right there. Stay. There we go. Don't fall on me. Alright, we got it. Everything is stacked up there. Now, I could maybe get one about right here. We could see if I could get one. There. That is a big load of logs right there. And I do, I do kind of got to apologize for not being able to really, um, I could do screenshots I guess, but not being able to show the purchases in the store in the video. And the reason for that is is there's music in the store. Um, so I don't want that to hurt the YouTube channel. Okay, let's see about strapping that on there. Play a little trick on it. Should be able to pull away. All right, we got that on there. All 
Alright, see, now we should be able to get another log on there because that one is creating another shelf for a log. The interesting thing will be is just getting these uh, to the cell point. Oh, without wrecking. I did have to uh, use my uh, big wheel loader uh, off camera uh, as an emergency because I rolled the truck and trailer. <laughs> All right, now come on. I already know what crop I want in which field, I think. And which additional... F oh. So close. Come on. I'm not strong enough to lift these two logs. They're a little bit too heavy. So we gotta lift it with the tractor. Okay, now we can get it on there. I slow down, that would help. Use the log. That's this tree branch or log should fit right in there without falling off, I think. There we go. Now we can even probably get another one on there. last one on there and then go sell that load. I still got plenty of room to get some on the front of the truck bed, but I think we'll go with what we got. And see what we can make money off of. Ooh, that didn't look very center when I picked it up, but it's on the log fork, not falling off. So it is balanced. See if we can get this to sit. Uh, we might want to put it on the other side actually to balance out the trailer, I think. We got all kinds of stumps around the area, so we need to buy some new equipment to get rid of my stumps. Plus, we need to buy the precision farming thing for our new fields. Alright, you're not gonna stay there, are ya? Alright, let's strap you. Now we can pull away. And then... Strap it off here. See, we could even get another log up there. Maybe another two logs up there if we cut another tree. But I think I'll go ahead with this load. And we'll go sell this load. Um, right now, it is still selling the best at the biomass heating plant. So that's where we need to go with this load. So let's head on over towards the biomass heating plant and sell this load and uh, hopefully we get about another 7,000. That would be awesome if we did. So I think we'll see you over near our biomass heating plant. Welcome back. Well, let's go down the road here to the biomass heating plant and sell this load of logs. And then we'll venture to the store and I'm going to make a couple of purchases. I'll pull in here. Hopefully get a decent amount of money. Back this up. Whoa. We 
that back up very good there. <laughs> Let's get that a little bit more center. That was kind of horrible. There we go. Now we can sell this load. Should be a decent amount, I hope. Let's see what we're going to get. 6,285. I'll take that. That's okay. We'll take that. Alright, now. We need to, uh, we need to go sell. Or go sell. We need to go to the store and make some good purchases. So, um, we'll probably just see you back at the farm, everybody. Welcome back everybody to the farm here. We have got our equipment that we just purchased back to the farm and as you can see here you saw me purchase this adapter which is from the CSZ pack where you can attach it to a front loader and then it changes your front loader into a skid steer. So then we also got this uh, tree mulcher, this lizard mulcher 3000 and then I got one more thing that I didn't get a picture of. I got a little IBC tank on a little trailer to haul some water right there. So we got that too. Then we got another load of logs ready to sell. But we're going to go ahead and sell those in the next day here because it's been a pretty long day and we need to get some rest but I want to show you how this thing works here and how well it works on this little John Deere tractor. So let's hook up to our adapter to change it to a skid steer. And then we'll hook up to the skid steer attachment and we will knock out that stump right there. Now this thing also creates fields or plows fields I believe might plow fields. I don't know if it creates fields, but it plows fields. Let's go ahead and we will knock out that stump. And then this stump here, I think, is the last one. I might have missed some around the property. Let's just look at the um, information on the buttons for this thing. Okay, turn on forestry mulcher. Um, it does plow the ground, I think, so it might classify it as a field then. Uh, not 100% sure, but alright, let's go put this away. My equipment isn't under the shed right now, but that's because we had some things going on, so we kind of just got the equipment spread out a little bit for now. Let's go ahead and dump that mulcher right there. We'll, we'll leave the attachment on it. Why not? Let's go ahead and detach that as a whole. And then we'll We get our shovel bucket here. All right. I want to see what we got for uh, fertilizer under the shed. I think we got quite a bit. I'd like to get that cleaned up. Put it somewhere else, possibly. Ah, uh, you know, yeah. Let's just see what we can get out of here. Alright, 2,000 liters right there. Now, I probably... Should put it in the fertilizer spreader anyway. Because I think there is fertilizer in the spreader. Uh... 
whatever it is, I don't think it's very much. There we go. Alright, now we got 350 liters in the shovel bucket. Let's go get what else is underneath the shed there. Alright. Looks like it's all gonna fit. Sweet. Alright, 1,477 more liters. I think we'll just leave it in the bucket for right now. If it'll let me. Ooh, there's a stump right there. There's a stump I missed. Yeah, we'll just leave it in the tractor in the bucket. We'll leave it over there, even not under the shed. All right, let's go get a night's rest here. All right, well, we have $11,947 right now. Ooh, hey, we got grass growing. Look at that. Nice grass field right there growing. Sweet. Okay, well, there is a couple of things I want to do here. But I think we should probably check our used sales and see what we're going to get for this load of logs before I decide what else I want to do here. Before we end this episode. So let's check used sales really quick. Okay, well, everything is out of our price range. And we don't need a front loader even. Okay, no such luck there. Alright, we need to go sell this load of logs. Um, we can see what contracts there are. Harvesting. For 975 corn. More plowing contracts. I don't want any plowing contracts. So there's a couple of weeding contracts. Um, yeah, nothing really of interest to myself. But let's go uh, sell this load of logs. And we probably should check. And I don't mean to stop again, but we probably should check and see where our logs are selling the best at. So we can get the best return off of this load. And let's see. Wood is selling the best at the carpentry again. 1,801. Okay, well, let's go to the carpentry. And uh, sell this. Um, now, we got we got to drive kind of slow. Or we'll run into all kinds of problems. Hopefully we don't tip this over. Come on now. I'm holding on the brake, everybody. We're just coasting because of all the weight we got behind us. All right, now let's get on this road here. This road's a little bumpy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, okay. Let's not wreck. We do not want to tip this load of wood over. We are too close to that river to lose all this money. 
Okay, what if we drive off the road here on this guy's ditch area? Is it a little smoother? Oh, that is so much better than that road. We might have to pay these farmers a little bit of a fee for this. So much smoother than that road. Alright, well, I think we'll see you over at the carpentry point, everybody. Alright, welcome back, everybody. Well, let's pull in here. Uh, we gotta sell this load of wood. And see if we can get some more money. Hopefully about five or six thousand would be nice. Let's see what we're gonna get though. Alright, well here we go. Five thousand nine hundred and seventy nine and we had a hundred and sixty six dollar penalty. So we have $17,760, which is really good because there is a piece of equipment that we need that is $17,000, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to purchase that yet, but I'll show you what that is here. That piece of equipment is in the miscellaneous. And it's this very first one here, this Asaria Scout, 17,000 for Precision Farming DLC. We need that thing to uh, test plot our land. So, um, yeah. As we got those two other fields that aren't test plotted yet. Our original field was test plotted at the start of the series, so now we got to spend that money to get that precision farming instrument so we can test plot other fields that we create here on our land. But now we got to get back over the farm. There is a couple of things I am going to do with this money over at the farm, and then I think we'll see where we're at from there. All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, let's take this on back through our property here. Uh, there's a couple of things I think I'm gonna purchase and put down here on our farmyard uh, property. So let's go back this way. We're gonna cut through this bush here. I think we'll stop right here. We get out and put our drone up and see what we're gonna do all right we got ourselves a couple of olive tree gardens here I've never used this mod before hopefully we can make a little bit of money off these olive tree gardens a couple of them so I need to get some water to it I think um, let's just take a look here so olives we can do it looks like just water or we can do olives seeds and solid fertilizer so seeds and solid fertilizer water seeds and solid fertilizer to get ourselves olives and then we also could do water seeds and manure that yeah I think these are gonna be a nice little addition there but well, we need to get some water to them I don't know um, if I'll buy seeds or fertilizer 
we'll just have to see. Right now, I'm going to set them on water, I think. But I think they'll probably produce better if we put... If we put the other stuff with them. So maybe we should buy some seed and fertilizer for it all. Which means spending more money. But I don't know if I want to do that yet. So I think we will just let's set this bucket back down here. Okay. And we're going to go and uh, put water in those. Start to put water in those. Let's hook up to our tank. It's already full. I'd like to have a little bit more of a money cushion before I went and decided to... Uh, go forward with uh, putting seeds and fertilizer in them too. I'm not even sure how much water this is going to take. Uh, we'll find out here. Let's fill this first one up. Probably gonna, yeah, it's gonna take a lot of water. That's only a thousand liters, so I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's maybe 10,000 or so. I have no idea. <laughs> but we're gonna be making several trips to fill those up and turn them on. but we can at least get some water in each one. At least get them started to produce. We can always switch it to seed and fertilizer later. Okay, that water point really fills up fast. Uh, we're only filling a thousand liters also, so that could be a difference. But these two olive gardens should bring us some more money in. Okay, come on. There we go. Now let's go ahead and we'll turn those on. Uh, activate those to storing. Both of them. We're just going to do water. Alright, there we go. We got our two olive trees. Help us make a little bit more money anyway. Never have used those before. Never have raised olives even. But now, we need to finish putting water in that. So I'm going to finish doing that. But there is one other thing I want to do here with y'all, quick. Let's see, we, uh, we need a workshop, you know. On this shed here, we got some building materials here, so we're going to build ourselves the start of our workshop, okay? So, um, we'll be, uh, you'll see the workshop here as soon as it's done. There, you see we got a nifty little workshop. Uh, we got a toolbox out here to help us, but yeah, that should be pretty handy now. Build ourselves a nice workbench here. Got ourselves some tools out of the closet in the cabin. and Yeah, we even got ourselves a cup of coffee out here. We just need a plate of donuts, but... Y'all, if you enjoyed this episode, please drop me a tasty one on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery, and by you all people, it's delicious, don't it? 
don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section and please share a box of donuts with all our friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel but for myself rusty money we will see you all on the flip side have a good one PlayStation.